For the past eight years, I've been a private sperm donor. In turn, I've helped singles and couples start a family and realize their dreams. Some have been so happy, some of them have referred to me as like a modern day savior. I don't feel like I perform miracles, so to speak, but I have gotten women pregnant that were told by doctors the chance of getting pregnant was very slim. I have what you would call super swimmers. Out here is a potential client and uh, somebody contacted me to possibly help them out. I probably donated to about 150 people. I fathered 40 children and another 11 on the way. These kids live in 11 states in the United States and even Mexico. In some ways I'm kind of like Superman Clark Kent. You know, I got my day job and at night I put on my cape and become like a kind of like a superhero. I've traveled all over the United States. I've traveled even to Europe. Uh, I've traveled to Sweden and the United Kingdom, making donations and giving samples to women in need. So what I got here is my website where women and couples can go and get some fertility advice on how to get pregnant. A lot of people are interested in my services. This is usually how they contact me. Typically, we'll email, we'll text a little bit, and we'll just talk about the process, and then, you know, we end up meeting up. There's two ways we can do this, the artificial insemination, and the other is just naturally through sex. The artificial insemination, typically they'll take a cup with my sample and then they'll inject it. This is a 10 milliliter syringe, so typically they would suck up the sample and the female would use for conception. I think usually sex is the most effective way to get pregnant. There has been a couple times where the woman did want it to be romantic through, you know, something like the boyfriend experience. I've had some women at the end, you know, after we're done, they like to cuddle or they like to talk and get to know each other more. I don't charge for any of my services because it's not about the money, it's about helping them out having a child. I feel like I'm definitely better than a sperm bank. You have clinics switching out vials, you got different embryos switched around, and then you also have these grandpas going around impregnating patients, and no one wants to get pregnant by a grandpa. Come on, that's like, come on, it's your grandpa. In my eyes and clinically, fresh is way better than frozen. I'm 10 times better than a fertility doctor because I've tested all these things. I know what supplements to take, what lifestyle choices to do. I know pretty much way more than any doctor does. I'm, I would say I'm probably the number one fertility expert in the entire world. And I can say that confidently because I actually do get these women pregnant. I would consider myself an extremely fertile guy. There are lots of things I do in my daily life to stay very fertile. Diet plays an extremely huge role in my fertility. Since I eat a healthy, organic, very healthy diet, my sample is very strong and I'm able to have a high success rate compared to the sperm banks. I got spinach, I got broccoli, organic. If you're watching, eat spinach if you want your guy to get you pregnant. I don't really eat meat. I do eat fish once in a while because when I was in London, I had four pregnancies in a row. So I have like canned tuna and stuff. Here's my supplement stash. Got all this good here. I got vitamin C, I got vitamin E, I got zinc, um, vitamin D, B12, a multivitamin, and a few other little random ones. Where's my cup? I need to go get my cup of water. I got my cup, I use a tin can. This is just temporary. This is a temporary cup. It's my temporary cup because I don't own a cup. I take about 20 supplements a day and that will help me get my super sample. So bananas are good just because, I don't know, they just have uh, bromine in them. Um, it's some, something like that's like bromelin or bromine or something. There's certain things you can do to help your fertility, such as avoiding products with phthalates. I use natural toothpaste, uh, organic coconut oil for shaving cream, and I use organic natural shampoo. Taking cold showers is good for your fertility because it increases your testosterone. Here's the thing that a lot of people don't know, being constricted. You don't wanna wear tight boxers or pants or anything. You know, I never wear boxers or anything. I just wear nothing. So people can just, I'm like a free bird, you know what I mean? Sitting for long periods is not good for you because it can decrease your fertility. I would say exercise is very important to my fertility. Follow my regimen, and you're guaranteed to get your wife or partner pregnant. So, you know all of this how? You know, uh, you test the theory. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.